So benzoyl peroxide is a really common acne fighting ingredient. And this ingredient has the potential to break down into benzene. And there are potential connections between benzene and cancer, but that is currently still being studied. So the FDA did some testing and found some products whose levels of benzene were over the threshold that they would like. So here's some alternatives. If you're someone that uses benzoyl peroxide and you want to err on the side of caution, here's what you can do. So one, you're going to throw away that product. So whatever the recalled product is, you look in your little cabinet, make sure it's not in there. If it's there, toss it. So you can always look for salicylic acid based products, whether it be a salicylic acid spot treatment, a salicylic acid wash, or a salicylic acid like toner. Salicylic acid is a great acne fighting ingredient. Another alternative would be retinoids. I love retinoids. You can actually get over the counter retinoids that are not a prescription. So anything that has the ingredient adapalene usually comes in 0.1%. Differin makes an adapalene, Neutrogena makes an adapalene, and LaRouche Posse also makes an adapalene over the counter. So you can purchase this to help treat any stubborn acne that you're treating with benzoyl peroxide. Glycolic acid is another over-the-counter acne ingredient that helps to also fade dark spots while treating acne. And another ingredient that you can add to your skincare regimen as an alternative to benzoyl peroxide would be azelaic acid. There's plenty of over-the-counter washes, serums, creams that contain azelaic acid that help to fight acne. One of the good things that I love about azelaic acid is that it not only helps acne, it also helps to fade pigmentation. So a two for one combo there. So yeah, if you recently heard about all of the buzz surrounding benzene and it being found in products that the FDA is recalling, go ahead and toss those products and then reach for some of the alternatives that I mentioned.